Hello folks, here's a summer tour of Fineth. If you can hear that sound really faintly through the open windows, that would be the creek that's down the hill. Over here it's a evening now, but my solar panels are keeping this house charged up. I don't need my generator at all. You can see the batteries are at 99.2% right now. Everything else is pretty much the same inside. Most of the changes are outside. Flowers here are growing well. It's been a wet summer and uh, I seem to like it. Everything's huge. We've got some herbs, some flowers. These planters are all recycled uh, from lockers from a gym nearby. Along the back of the house I have mint, my big propane tank, lots of lettuces which I have been thinning and eating and thinning and eating, and I still have too many, so obviously I planted too many. Some spinach uh, around this end. I've got lots of kale, also a little too thick. We've been eating leaves off it. I need to transplant some just so it has space. This corner has my herbs. I've got more basil, thyme, dill, also needs transplanted. More flowers and other random herbs all along the front. This lovely lawn that you can see is all totally wild grass. Plus lots of weeds. It's whatever was here. I've just been mowing it. There's, we're back to the front door. You can see the solar panels over there. The bucket beside them is some little kiwi vines that are waiting on a trellis to climb up. Wildflowers growing. The entire clearing here would have looked like this patch of brush if we had uh, not mowed it and trimmed some bushes. There's the old outhouse. It did used to be an outhouse 50 years ago. Now it is my tool shed. Over here, my driveway is still soggy because it keeps raining and raining and raining. As we get over here, looks like I left the van door open. You can see my wash line. Just barely up the hill, you can see the fence that I put up around the clearing to keep big critters out of my garden. It's pretty close to invisible. Let's see if we can get close enough for the camera to actually pick it up. It's a black mesh. You can kind of see it up the hill there. Um, there's a fence post. It runs across there. Anyway, that goes the whole way around the clearing. So far, it seems to be working just fine to keep everything out of my garden. It's wet enough. I think I would see the footprints if they were here. I still see them walking around the outside all the time. We're working on a little lounge area out here. Got a swing, two chairs, some nice uh, little end tables there with some candles to keep away the mosquitoes. That bear patch that didn't happen to be growing grass anyway, I think I'm going to dig up and put a fire pit in. Over here we've got the garden. It's looking much better since I pulled enough weeds that you can see the plants. Got all kinds of things growing. Beets, red and yellow ones, onions, garlic, cabbage, red and green, broccoli, which I've harvested several times, chard, which is ready to harvest, potatoes. This first few rows did not sprout very well. They've been replanted. The new ones are growing. There's little tiny sprouts like that one there that are now up. I think it was too wet and they rotted when I planted them. This end somehow managed to sprout anyway. Those plants are fairly big and healthy. Got lots of cabbage here. Again, it's a little thick. I need to transplant it. I have learned my lesson. I'll plant it better next year. This patch is supposed to be peas. There's a few random pea plants, like this poor little guy. Again, I think maybe they rotted because it was so wet. So they've been replanted. Hopefully the new ones will be sprouting here in the next few days. These hoops are all for frost covers, which I can put over the garden if it gets cold, but it's not been cold yet. On down to this end, I've got the big weeds out, but still need to hoe more little ones. We've got more garlic. Um, got a row of carrots, a row of radishes. They are ready to be picked. On down here, you can see some of the big fat ones that I've got growing. Um, got more beets, a second crop over here. I really like red beets. I like canning them, pickling them. Then we've got little different greens. 
a few cucumbers, my strawberry patch, rhubarb patch over there. I've eaten one strawberry, or rather half of it, that a bug didn't eat. But some of these plants have little clumps like that that look like they're about to start turning red, so hopefully I'll get a few berries this year. Over here, kind of along the uh, back, I've got my compost pile. The white stuff beside it is the frost cover to go on the garden if it does get cold. This is some free pallets um, that I zip tied together and uh, have all my compost going in. Um, right there you can actually see the mesh, I believe. This is where the fence comes along the back edge of the clearing. On over here, that big tank, is my water that I now have up here. I've got a little pump down in the creek, runs up the hill through some PVC pipes. I'm planning to try to build a water ram. The current pump does need electricity, so my generator runs that. This tank holds 100 gallons of water. It uh, is great to be able to water everything, my garden and flowers and such, without needing to haul water up the hill by hand. I have, in addition to wild flowers, like the bright red paintbrush that's still blooming, the white stuff is yarrow, there's asters and bluebells. I also have wild berries. These are sarvis berries. If it will focus on those. They are turning uh, red here shortly. I'll be able to eat those. There's a lot growing around here. I've also planted an orchard. This is my little pear tree. It's growing out good leaves after being planted from a dry root. This is the biggest apple tree I have. Um, let's see, over here, that is a little plum tree. That one is a pie cherry. It actually does have a few cherries on it. I don't know if they'll continue to mature or not, but you can see they're starting to turn red there. Back here I have another apple tree. This one again was planted from a dry root, so it's pretty small but seems to be happy and healthy and growing. There you can see some more of my wildflowers. Lots of whites and yellows and purples, which works well because they're my favorite colors. That's where my uh, PVC comes up the hill with my water. Again, you can see the fence. Got a little gate across my footpath. This is the way you can walk up the hill when the driveway is so soggy that you can't drive. As we come back over along this edge, I have two different grapevines, a white and a red. This one looks like it may produce a small clump of grapes this year from that little cluster underneath there. And back across this yard, which still has lots of rocks in it, though I've moved quite a few. One of the holes where I pulled a rock out left a little cave shape where a pair of nut hatches decided to nest. They now have three happy little babies that you can just barely see in here. See their little beaks, little bright eyes. So they've got a very tiny nest beside my nest. And that's pretty much what's going on around the property right now. I'm excited about having this garden. Excited about having that area, especially once it has a fire pit. The whole garden, my orchard, fruit trees and berries. Anyway, that's what's happening now. I'll update this once things change.